If you can't beat 10-man Southampton, you're not going to finish in the top four. Manchester United today, another largely gash performance. It really was. Dan James was individually fantastic. I thought Mata improved on Lingard's performance last week. But overall, another bad performance, bad team performance from United against a very poor Southampton team. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But today, we've seen what's going to be our problems all season long. I think there were three or four times when the ball was put across the box where Rashford didn't get on the end of it. Rashford today against Southampton was abysmal as that striker. Isolated striker, yes, but that was a woeful performance. Pogba, again, the game passed him by. Pogba, when he's great, is incredible, but when he's poor, it's so frustrating to watch, and it was just a frustrating performance completely. And it's the second time this season where Man United have been 1-0 up and been in a large element of control. Wolves was the first one, now here against Southampton. And again, we seem to fall apart in the second half. The game management from Solskjaer and his players, absolutely terrible. And for the second time this season, Lindelof has been involved in a goal that we've conceded as a poor aerial challenge against Crystal Palace when he lost that header. And there today, Vestergaard should have been Maguire up against him. I don't know what's going on with the marking there. But United, if we can't... 1-0, should have won. I think, should have been a 1-0 win against Southampton. They were not very good creatively going forward whatsoever. We seemed to get rid of their press, and when they didn't have that, they were crap. But United let them back in the game. And I can't believe that we've gone and thrown two points away there. Because if we just executed that element of control that we had in the first half, in the second, it would have been a simple three points. But United today, we've just... You've seen all the problems there and all the, this, we're not good enough for the top four. I think we can all agree on that. Mason Greenwood came off the bench. He made a bit of a difference. I suppose on a more positive note, let's talk about Dan James. With three goals in his first four Premier League games, he's been absolutely sensational. For me, Dan James is setting the standard there. So direct, the most direct winger that we've had in a long time. And I'm absolutely buzzing for him. But it's a shame that his good individual performances are being marred because United aren't turning these games into wins. Two times we've been in a winning position this, le this season now and we've dropped points. It's all about game management from United there. And that's down to Solskjaer and down to the players. United just need to be better. With Maguire and Wan-Bissaka, we should be keeping clean sheets. But again... We dropped points, again we didn't get a clean sheet, and again United didn't win. Now, it's been a terrible start to the season, overall. That Chelsea game was brilliant in the result, but Chelsea could have had two or three goals there. And then we followed that up. Well, the draw against Wolves as well. Four, four points from the first two games was great. But then losing against Crystal Palace, drawing against Southampton... You're going to be struggling to get into the top six if you can't get three points against these types of teams. What do we do from here? Marcus Rashford, he needs to have a vastly better season for United to be able to cope without Sanchez and Lukaku because the players that we've got need to improve for us to have a goal threat this season. Martial being injured, that took a lot away from our attack today. I really, really hope he's going to be coming straight back after the international break because we need him in attack. But it was just poor from United. It wasn't anything else apart from that. It was simple mistakes that we made that allowed Southampton back in the game and we didn't have enough quality in the final third to change it when they sat deep. So often we were passing sideways. Nobody was being responsible and trying to get that pass through. Dan James was the only real direct threat that we had for the full 90 minutes. And Solskjaer's got to be angry at his players there because we've let two points slip. Twice we've done that this season in four games against relegation candidates and Southampton who will be chasing a top 10 finish. You can't do that if you genuinely think you're going to get anywhere near that top four. So let me know what your reaction is there. But for me, two... Points dropped with poor, poor mistakes, poor game management. Overall, 
shit. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But United dropping points again. I suppose bring on the international break. We kind of need it.